Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to a speed build. So um, I've been building this house for a few days and it's finally done and it was actually done a couple days ago but I'm finally getting around to getting it up for you guys and um, I'm just building the floor plan right now. I am actually going to be talking through the whole thing of the whole thing, the whole video. <laughs> um, I usually don't do this, but I used to do it, so I thought it would be fun to start doing this again, just because when I'm watching builds, I do enjoy, like, watching um, ones where they talk through all of it, and a lot of them end up being really rambly, but I like that, because, I don't know, it just makes it fun to watch. Um, so, yeah, I just built the floor plan, and it's pretty simple, but not just, like, a complete box, and then I built, like, a little deck area around the whole thing. I don't usually do that. I usually just build a deck in the back or the front or both, but not, like, all the way around, and then I was just, like, adjusting the house. So, um, this part of the build is probably the slowest, because I... I don't know, I take forever with the roof all the time, and I, like, I don't know, I'm always, like, looking at how I want the floor plan to be, and it takes me a while to, like, figure out how I want it. This one wasn't too hard as far as, like, making the rooms. Um, usually it takes me longer, but I guess the layout of this house was just, like, working out better because I wasn't working with such a small space, and usually I am. I usually don't build houses this size, you guys probably know. My houses are usually on the smaller side, I guess, but this is like a family home, so it's a little bit bigger and just more space. And there's actually a lot of open space, and I was like wishing there was more clutter things. So, yeah. <laughs> I think that's why I like stuff packs so much, because it just, they always add in some type of more clutter. So, I always get excited, because then there's something else to build with. But, this house was built before the backyard stuff came out. So, I didn't use any of that, which I think it would have been kind of cool if I had used some because I think it would have some of the stuff like the decorations and stuff would have looked nice in the backyard but oh well <laughs> so yeah this is the part that I was talking about that it's just gonna be a while but it's not as long as usual I guess well I don't know because it does seem longer since the house is bigger so yeah also um I've been wanting to tell you guys but I can't just like talk about it in a rant in a normal video because then I'll just be rambling and rambling but I am getting my own recording room and I wanted to tell you guys this because I think it's just gonna make me have more time and just better videos, I feel like. Um, like, I already take a lot of time on my videos, but it'll be a lot easier if I have my own space where I can just close the door and not worry about any background noise or anyone coming into the room or, you know, like, I can record every single night if I wanted to and not have to worry about anything and stay in there as long as I need to to finish what I need to do. So, that'll be great because things like this build probably would have gotten done a lot faster because I would just be more concentrated and just completely alone. But I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, I think it's going to be done sooner than I thought. I thought it wouldn't be done till like Christmas time or something, but I think it'll be faster than that. Um, but basically, um, in my house, we have like this spare room and it just turned into like a junk room. <laughs> we have a sliding glass door in that room that leads to the backyard. So that's basically all we use that room for. And the cat's litter box is in there. <laughs> but it's just, we don't really use that room. And it's just, it was just like a clutter room. And we would just put things in there that we're not really using and stuff like that. So the other day I cleaned out all of it. And it took a while, but it's nice and clean now. And I'm, we moved a lot of stuff out of there and everything. When I say we, I mean like me and Jonathan and my mom. So yeah. <laughs> and... Yeah, so that's coming along, and I'm really excited, but it needs a lot of work, so, like, we're going to be painting, um, we're even going to rip up the carpet and everything like that, there's wood flooring underneath it, and we, you know, I'm going to move my desk in there, and it's just going to take a little while, but I'm excited, and we're actually already going to start painting, probably, well, either today or tomorrow, when you're watching this. Yeah, this is this is supposed to go up the day that I'm doing this voiceover. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm so excited, and I think it'll just be great and it'll just allow me to have more time and not get frustrated because there is times when I do get frustrated if it's not quiet enough in the room or something like that because I record in my bedroom and yeah so that will be nice and I'm super excited and I feel like it's gonna be like the cutest room in the house because I just want to put like so many cute things in that room and I want to make my desk area look all super pretty and yeah, I think it'll be awesome. So <laughs> that's one thing I wanted to tell you guys, and I've been waiting to do this voiceover so I could tell you that. And 
yeah, that should be fun. So, as I was talking about all that, we, I finished, like, the roofing and everything. It took me, like, forever. But I think the roofing turned out okay, but again, it's not perfect, like always. I don't know. I'm not very good at roofs, but I've gotten better. You guys probably have noticed I've gotten better if you guys watch my other builds. I used to be really, really bad at doing the roofs. So, now we're doing the backyard, and I put a little pool down there, and down there, back there, <laughs> and, um, yeah. So, I like the shape of the pool. Usually, I just do, like, a square, a rectangle 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 pool but I decided to do it different this time and um, I put some monkey bars back there just cuz like you know so the kids have something to do I want there to be like swings and everything I can't wait by the way if you can hear my cat I'm sorry but I have a little jungle gym thing in my room and she just woke up so she was just scratching on it Okay, so I just put some little flower planter things. I thought maybe, like, the mother would do gardening. I don't know. And then I put a little fire pit because I thought that was, like, some good family time. Because as you guys know, there's not that many, like, family time things. That's why I really want a Generations expansion pack type thing. Um, so, yeah, I, I was like, what am I going to put that all the family can do together? I mean, they have the pool, but I wanted, like, something specific where they can all sit down and... Um, roast marshmallows or whatever and tell campfire stories so yeah and then I put a little barbecue and a table which now we have the table that came with backyard stuff that has it's like a six seater so that was awesome and I kind of wish that I put it in this house but then again I don't know if there would have been room on that deck because it's not the biggest and now I'm finally putting the wallpaper on the outside of the house so I don't know why it took so long to do that because usually I would do that first but I don't know I just started doing the backyard and just kind of went with it. So, yeah. Oh, also, now we have the white picket fence that came with backyard stuff. And that would have been so perfect for this house. I feel like it would have fit a family home, like, so perfectly. So, yeah. Also, I don't know what I was doing right there. You guys are probably seeing, like, what is going on. <laughs> like, I was, like, seeing that there was, like, this space between the roof and the wall. And I was like, is this attached? But apparently it is because I removed it here, as you guys can see. And then it just still did the same thing. So, I was like, what? So I just left it alone because I guess that's how it's supposed to be, but it looks kind of weird. I mean, you can't tell unless you're like looking upwards like in a really weird way. So I don't know why I was so worried about it, but it just didn't look right. I don't know. And now I'm adding in the windows and you know, with houses like these, I feel like I struggle with the windows because I'm like, it looks like there's not enough windows, but then I don't want to put too many at the same time. So I was kind of just being like, should I add more? But then I, I don't know. I thought it would look cluttered and look like weird because like, I don't know. When you look at a real house, there's not like a million windows all over in every single spot. At least the ones I've seen. Unless it's like a modern house and it's like really open and lots of windows, but this is a family home, so I didn't want to put crazy windows, but I think there's enough, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, so the windows are taking me a while. <laughs> also, um, I just wrote down a bunch of, well, actually all of the baby names in my new planner. You guys might know I got a new planner that is going to be used for like something else. I'm not going to go into that. You guys can go to my second channel and watch my video on my Bando planner review if you guys want to know what I'm going to do with it. But basically, I'm not able to use it yet because the planner doesn't start till August. And in the back of the book, there's all these note pages. And I was like, I'm going to write down all my 100 baby challenge names and also a bunch of names that you guys have suggested suggested me on 100 baby challenge videos because I always I don't know I'm, I feel like I'm so unorganized with 100 baby challenge sometimes and I like look through the comments uh that you guys leave me with baby names and I'm like wait do we have that name already I don't know and then I do have a little book that does have the names in it I was a little behind but it had most of the names in it and I would never have it beside me I didn't even know where it was for a while so yeah, finally I wrote them all down in the back of my planner and now I won't lose them because as soon as um, August starts, I'm going to be using it every single day basically. So it'll always be there and um, when I record 100 Baby Challenge, I'm going to make sure the book is there so that when we have a baby, I can look at the names that have not been taken because I wrote down a bunch of names you guys left me and you guys leave me so many good names. So thank you <laughs> if you watch that challenge, but if not, then you're great anyways. But yeah, now I just have so many names written down to choose from, so I don't have to, like, you know, stop recording for a second and then, like, pick a name and then come back, and yeah, so that will be nice. So I just did a bunch of landscaping, as you guys saw, and on the sides of the house, I just put, like, the big bushes because I don't really, I don't know. 
I didn't know what to put. And then, uh, like I see, I was trying to do something here and it didn't really look good, so I took it away and then just did the same thing as the other side of the house, which, I, I don't know, I thought was going to look weird at first if it was, like, so symmetrical on both sides, but it ended up being fine. I don't know. Usually, I'm like, I have better luck with landscaping than this, but it looks okay in the end. And I always have to, I'm like so picky with the dirt around. Um, I always like put dirt all around the house and then I put the flowers and then I put more dirt around. I don't know. <laughs> and then here I'm putting a little sitting area and um, that couch, I guess it's more modern, like the little outside couch, but it, it looked fine because the colors like went, um, it, it went fine. <laughs> and I thought it'd be nice if the mom and dad can go and sit out there. You guys can use this house for whatever you want, but I just think it looks so much like a family home, and there ends up being, like, a teenager's room and a kid's room. So, oh, also, when I was finished, I was like, oh my gosh, I should have put a nursery, because I feel like there would have been room, um, because the bedrooms are pretty big. I could have, like, um, separated one of the bedrooms and had, like, a really small nursery. I think that would have been cute, but, you know, you guys can add that if you want to use this house and you have a baby. And now I'm just putting flowers, and again, I would have liked to have backyard stuff when I did this because I feel like there wasn't enough outside flowers, but now we actually got quite a few more with that pack, so I'm really happy about that. And I want to do a build where I use a lot of that stuff. Like, obviously, on the inside of the house, it'll probably just be, you know, regular furniture that's been in the game for a while, but oh, now moving on the inside, I'm putting some lights in. But the backyards will look so pretty. So uh, yeah, I want to make a house that just has the slip and slide in the back and the bird feeder and all the nice new plants. And there is some stuff I can use on the inside of the house, so I'll definitely be doing that. And um, I put matching doors everywhere. They're just like a dark brown color. Um, and then I decided to go with like a medium wood for all around the house. And then I did white tile in the bathroom and I ended up doing carpet in the bedrooms because, I mean, well, a lot of newer homes just have carp uh, just have wood everywhere, but for some reason, when I think of a family home, I think of wood flooring on, like, the main areas of the house, like the kitchen and the dining room, and then, um, like, carpet in the rooms. I Probably because my house, well, okay, my house is, like, all carpet except for the dining room, basically, but then soon it'll have carpet in the office room so that will be my recording room <laughs> um but in this house i actually put carpet in the office room the red room that you guys just saw a second ago that is actually going to be the office room and yeah um i kind of went with like mo mainly neutral colors but then i kind of I, I tried to do like pops of colors in the rooms and stuff like especially the bedrooms and yeah i like doing colors in the bedrooms especially in the children's rooms and teenager rooms so yeah um the teenager's room which you can use for anything you want but i was just thinking of a teenager's room i ended up doing a pretty bright orange and um here i am doing the bathrooms first i do all the bathroom f bathrooms first i think i always do that when i start decorating a house i just want to get the bathrooms out of the way i don't know <laughs> i enjoy doing the bathrooms but then also they're super super duper simple so especially in this house i feel like they're really simple so I don't know. I have more fun decorating the other rooms. Next bathroom, which they're all really similar, but then different slightly. I don't know. The upstairs bathroom is a little bit different. It has like actual counters and stuff because I don't know. I, I keep saying I don't know a lot, but <laughs> oh wait, there's two bathrooms upstairs. I totally forgot about that. So yeah, there's four bathrooms in this house, but yeah, only one has countertops because it was the only one that had enough room, and I don't do that a lot, so I decided to do that because I personally like when bathrooms have lots of counter space because the bathroom in my house does not, and it's, it's very sad. <laughs> There's never enough space. Yeah, so here's the best bathroom in the house, but I end up completely changing it. Um, it ends up not being like that at all. I end up putting the counters on the other side because I just thought it looked kind of weird when you, like, as soon as you walked in, you're, like, right in front of the shower. So, actually, when I was doing the, this bathroom like that, the reason I changed it exactly with that placement is because I was thinking of my aunt's bathroom. <laughs> she has a bathroom where you walk in and there's, a, like, a lot of counter space and then the shower beside it and then the toilet on the other wall. So, that's why I did it that way. And now I'm moving into the office room, and um, I thought this room was pretty cute, and it just looked, it looked really cozy to me. And there is a little area for the kids as well, because I thought that would be cute if the parents come in here and are just, like, working away, and then the kids can also do their homework on the other little desk that you'll see. 
um, right here. Yeah, I didn't I didn't put a computer on it, so they can just go in there and do their homework. I thought that would be cute. And yeah, then, you know, the parents can kind of monitor them and make sure they are doing their homework. This, this house just makes me want generations so bad. It would be so perfect. This house would be so perfect if there was generations. I just feel like it would make it fit even more for a family home and there'd probably be so many new family things to do. It'd be so nice. <laughs> so now I'm moving on to the kitchen and for some reason I make a lot of my kitchens yellow whether that's bright yellow or a light yellow like this I don't know why um I, I just do that <laughs> and I feel like I use light countertops as lo a lot too but I, I guess I like light kitchens so this kitchen has a lot of counter space I was even tempted to put more counter space than this but I thought that was a little much I thought it would just look a little like I don't know. I thought it would look really weird if I put even more counters. Like, at first I wanted to put them along, like, all both walls. Like, the whole wall. And I thought that would end up being very odd. Especially because I wanted to put a little island in the middle. And then I thought it would look very cluttered. So here I am putting the island. And, yeah. So I, I've been doing this. Not a lot lately, but I've done it a couple times now. And I really like it. I never used to really do this with islands. I used to just make them, like in a straight line so I think this looks a lot better it adds a lot more to the kitchen it looks nicer to look at and yeah so also this kitchen has like everything we got an ice cream machine a popcorn maker and then we have like the espresso thing so we can make all different kinds of coffee coffee's great I just drank coffee <laughs> and now I'm putting pictures on the wall and now moving into the dining room so it's like a light purple and I actually did this because the kitchen in my house, or the kitchen, the dining room in my house is like this light purple, or no, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a medium purple. It's a different purple than this, but you know, I, I liked how that looked better. And I decided to go with a pretty big table with chairs that to me looks like would be in a family home. I don't know. I was like really tempted throughout this build to put some modern things because I just love it. I don't know. Every time I see, I swear I was, okay. Sometimes when people count how many times I say things, I'm like, did you have to do that? Really? Like, <laughs> does it bother you that much? But in this video, you guys can feel free to count how many times I said, I don't know, and comment it down below because <laughs> this time I'm like really noticing it. I don't know why I keep, I did it again. But why do I keep saying that? I think this is like, I'm not used to this now. So it's like, I, I'm like adding, I don't know in every single sentence almost. Well, not every sentence, but a lot. And here's a pause. I don't know why. I tried to edit out all the pauses, but I guess I did not edit out this pause. So, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. But this took me, like, a long time. So, that's probably why there's pauses, because I was, like, probably distracted here and then. Here and then. Whatever. <laughs> um, from my phone and stuff. So, yeah. I took a long time with this house, and I think it's just because it was kind of big. So, um, also that couch, you can unlock it by typing in a cheat. It's like unlocks gameplay entitlement or something like that. You guys can look it up. And yeah, I like that couch. Um, I never really use it. I wish there was more colors to it, but I really, really like it either way. So, luckily, the color that the couch has had, or the colors that the couch has had, you know, even though they're not that great, one of them worked out, so that was good. Um, because, you know, the, this living room has, like, a neutral kind of vibe, so, yeah, it ended up doing good. And my kitty is jumping down, if you guys can hear her. <laughs> and Nyla, by the way, guys. I always say my kitty, but I have two kitties. You guys might see them on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys can go ahead and do that if you would like to. It's always linked down below. And I post pit cute pictures of my kitties. And I recently just posted um, pictures of them when they were a baby. And they're so cute. <laughs> um, so this living room has a fireplace and it's super cozy. And I thought that was nice for just some family time. They can all go in there and sit and enjoy a movie, cuddle, but cuddle. Not, probably not cuddle, but sit by the fire <laughs> and like warm themselves and have a nice time. Hopefully you guys don't start any fires. Hopefully I don't start any fires. I was actually thinking I might use this house, maybe for the foster family let's play. And my kitty wants out, so I apologize for any background noise because Jonathan's letting her out for me. <laughs> And now I'm putting some pictures on the wall, and I was going to put a bar there, but I was like, no, that, that, that doesn't look right. It, I don't know. I mean, you can have a bar in your house, even if it's a family home, but I just thought that it, 
it didn't look right. There would be kids in the house, and it was, like, right beside the living room. It wasn't even, like, hidden away at all, so I decided not to do that. So, no bar in the house, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, it would have been nice for the parents, but I guess I could have put one in the backyard, maybe. Okay, so now I, I was distracted, but <laughs> I just put the computer in that little corner. I thought it would be nice if we had like an extra computer, so I did that, and now I'm moving on to the parents' room, and I'm actually talking about this build a lot more than I thought. I thought I was gonna- I was rambling, but I thought it was gonna be so much more rambling, but I guess this build is kind of fast-paced, you know, when we actually got on the inside of the house, so there's actually a lot to talk about. Um, so yeah, the fam- the family room, the, f the parents' room is pretty simple, but I thought, you know, a parents' room would be simple. And then the children's room is like, I love it. It has so much going on. And then also the teenager's room is kind of simple too, which I was kind of sad about, but like, I feel like we really need some type of like teen pack. Maybe we will get one because we did get a kid stuff pack. So maybe we will get a teenager pack eventually. That would be nice. I think that would be perfect. And it would just like help a lot when you're decorating rooms because you'll see here, I don't really know what to put in here. Um, I never really had this much trouble with an, a teenager's room before. But I think that also has to do with the size of it. But if this was the kids' room, maybe I should have put the kids' room over here because it is bigger than the actual kids' room. And I think I would have easily filled this room up if it was for the kid because there's just so much stuff now. So yeah, if there's a stuff, if there's one stuff pack I want right now, it would be like a teen stuff kind of thing <laughs> because there's not enough. Like even those pictures on the wall, those are supposed to go in a kids' room and. There's pictures of kids in them, in the little string lights thingy, but I just, I was like, I'm just gonna throw them in here. We're just gonna pretend that that's pictures of her friends and pretend they're teenagers because it goes well in teenagers' rooms, so yeah. And uh, that room's really random. You guys probably see. I wanted to put a little DJ thing, but it just wasn't working out. Okay, now we are moving on to my favorite room in the whole house. I'm obsessed with kids' room stuff. It, every single room looks so good, so yeah. Um, it's like, um, a really bright blue, like aqua kind of themed, which is kind of like my room, except th these walls are a lot lighter, actually. I kind of wish my walls were this color instead, <laughs> but yeah, I actually decorated this room really quickly and the build is coming to an end after this. So this is the last room I did because I knew it was going to be my favorite and yeah, it's just super blue, super pretty. This could be for, um, uh, a little girl or a little boy. It's kind of just like a unisex room. So yeah, um, like I said, this build is coming to an end guys and I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you liked me talking through this. If you prefer music, you guys can let me know, but yeah, this was kind of fun talking and I hope you guys are excited about the upcoming things about like better videos in the future and me having more time and getting builds up faster because I'll have my own recording space. And yeah, you guys are looking at pictures now. So I'm going to go ahead and go and I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. I love you guys all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.